Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Could they do it again? Well, you know, it seemed unlikely. That is, unless you're in the Mastodon's locker room. After knocking off the Hoosiers last year at the Coliseum, the Dons doubling their pleasure and doubling their fun down in Bloomington. To Assembly Hall we go. The Hoosiers coming off a win against Notre Dame. Not too shabby. Bryson Scott there from Northrop High School leading the charge for the men in blue. First half, Case and Harrell for three. Later, it's Scott charging in. A little reverse there. The Don's up by one, but the Hoosiers try to get it going, and they do here. Robert Johnson, the senior from the outside. But the Don's keeping pace in what was a turnover-filled first half. In fact, 21 turnovers combined for the teams in the first 20 minutes. Dylan Carl with the triple. Don's up by one, and then it's Harrell straight away and money. He had 28 on the game. The Don's led by as many as six in the first half, but found themselves down 37-36 at the break. Second half, it's Scott pushing it. Two of his 26, and the Don's lead by three. And then the boys in blue break it wide open with the three ball. Johnny Conchar buries it for the Don's first double-digit lead at 61-51. And then it's Carl in the corner. Couldn't be more open, couldn't be more money. One of 17 threes the Don's hit on the game. They led by 14. Uh, better make it 19. Conchar from the outside, and it was all icing from there. The Dons dominating in the second half, sending IU fans home unhappy. Dons win 92-72 to beat the Hoosiers for the second year in a row. Andy McDonald spent his night down in Bloomington and has more with one of the game's heroes, Bryson Scott. Joined by Bryson Scott, and obviously you guys got extremely hot in the half, second half. What happened there? Uh, we just believed in ourselves and uh, stayed confident throughout the course of the game, stuck with the process, and we, we, we were knocking down shots, and that's so grateful that, that they were going in. So. You guys hit eight of nine threes at one point. How, uh, how obvious is it when the team's getting hot like that, and, and how good is this team when they get their shooting going? I think, I, I think we can beat any team when we get, we get hot like that, and uh, I'm so... I'm so happy for Kaysen and, and Dylan. Those guys stepped up big time, and uh, Matt Weir hit a big three. So I'm so happy for my teammates. It, it's, it's such a great feeling. Uh, what's it about the Scots and playing Indiana that makes you so successful? Uh, I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. I just I feel like we just got the utmost confidence in ourselves, and uh, just we're just blessed to be able to play this game and blessed to be able to play IU. So. Uh, we want to take full advantage of that. Uh, last year you guys beat IU, but you didn't really build off of it too much. How much do you want this win to build into something? Oh uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely uh, that was definitely a learning process for us last year. You know, uh, something that we, we something that we grew from. But this year, you know, we're we're just gonna take it game by game, and, and that's what we're gonna do from here on out. We're not gonna look too far in the future. Uh, we're just gonna take it game by game. Monday night's game, the final game of a three-game contract. IU signed with IPW back in 2015. IU winning the first one. The Dons winning.